What is going on everyone? My name is Jason and these are the best wallpaper apps for the Galaxy S10. Okay, so I recently did a review on the Galaxy S10 Plus, an absolutely gorgeous phone with the best display available today in my opinion. And of course, that drove the incessant questions about where I get all my wallpapers. So instead of trying to get back to each individual person, thought I'd share the apps that I use to get all the wallpapers that you see in those videos, specifically for Android. Now links to all the apps will be in the description. And dude, did I mention the best part? They're all free. Now in case you guys missed my first video on this very topic that I made a while back, I'll leave a link to that in the card that you see in the right hand corner. Definitely check it out because it has some awesome apps there as well. Now before we get into the review, if you're into checking out the latest consumer tech products before you buy them, or if you're just a tech head like me, I make a video like this every single week, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell icon so you can be the first to know when a new JSL review is out and you don't miss anything. And real quick, let me know in the comments which wallpaper you guys think looks the best, and also of any other wallpaper apps that I should definitely check out. Okay, with that being said, let's get into these apps. Okay, first up is an app called Wallcraft. This has quickly turned into one of my favorite wallpaper apps, period. It's full of super high resolution images that are organized in this easy to navigate grid fashion. And you have such an eclectic mix of wallpapers here, ranging from artistic real life photos to super modern abstract designs. You can search by what's new or what's trending in terms of popularity or through a fairly comprehensive list of categories, or you could just type something in if you really want to get specific. Once you find something that you like, you can either choose to download the image, which the app will allow you to do in three different formats to help you find the best fit, or you can press the set button and get it set up as your wallpaper directly. Super simple to use, and you have some seriously dope wallpapers here that can dramatically change the look and feel of your phone. Love this app, definitely check it out if you're looking for wallpapers like these. Okay, next up is an app called Black Wallpapers, a wallpaper app that specializes in dark themed images. Excellent for OLED displays with their perfect blacks and stellar contrast. This app also leverages a grid layout to make navigation of the app super simple, and though you also have quite a diverse mix of images here, one thing that you'll notice that's common is that they're all contrasting against the black background. And what you have are high resolution wallpapers that give off that perfect dark mode vibe, a little bit more low key, but at the same time, super sleek and more edgy than others. And if you have an OLED display like the one I have here on the S10 Plus, the wallpapers truly take advantage of the technology to make the display look incredible. Downloading and setting the wallpapers you're interested are super easy and fast. And overall, this is a really unique app that hits the nail on the head if you're looking for more of a darker themed phone. Okay, changing gears a little bit, next up is an app called Wallpy. This app is for all of you folks wanting backgrounds that are more artistic in nature, as the wallpapers in Wall P are of super high resolution real life images. I imagine that all the wallpapers are photos taken from professional photographers, because these look absolutely stunning. It's a great mix of landscapes, portraits, macro shots, beautiful scenery, people, architecture, basically everything on this earth that deserves being photographed. The app lets you quickly search by what's popular or trending, or if you're looking for something more specific, you can search through the various collections that the app has curated, which is actually really convenient. Now once you find a wallpaper that you like, all you have to do is press the button here, and you'll have your choice to either use it as your home screen, lock screen, or both, and bam, in a matter of seconds your phone has a fresh new look. Now if you guys know me, I'm really more into abstract patterns when it comes to wallpapers, but no lie, sometimes switching it up with something like this can be really refreshing, and love how simple and easy Wallpy allows me to do so. Okay last up, want to end it with something a little bit different, and that's with the app Minimalist Wallpapers. And this app is full of one of my favorite types of wallpapers, that being two dimensional flat retro style animations. There's a ton of super creative images that oftentimes portray some iconic characters in really cool minimalistic ways. The app again is really easy to navigate using a grid layout. You can search by different categories if you're looking for something specific. And once you've found a wallpaper that you're interested in, just press the plus button on the bottom right hand corner and you can either set it immediately or save the image in your photos. And man, I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes having an ultra simple cool wallpaper like this really gives a whole new vibe to my device. I really think sometimes going more old school and creative can be a breath of fresh air in terms of the look and feel of my phone. But hey, those are my thoughts. Curious to know what kind of wallpapers and apps you guys like. Out of all the apps reviewed, which one is your favorite? And what type of wallpapers do you guys like the best? Are you guys into the more modern abstract patterns or into the more artistic high resolution photos? Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. Okay, that's about it for this quick review. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you guys found it useful. It really helps me out. If you guys have any questions about these apps, let me know in the comments. And don't forget, links to download all of them are in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh